hello, people. Yes, Mr. Dwight Garrett. Back again for a short segment. God's Word. People, tonight, we're going to have a conversation. It's very touch and go, like I like to have, deep from the heart. Ooh, all right now. This is Christ's opposition to pornography. Hmm. Bet you didn't you didn't see that coming either, did you? All right. I like to talk about this sexual perversion thing quite a bit to make sure I hit all corners because there's so much of it going on during these last days, trying to tighten this thing up here. So it helps some some uh, some of these people I don't know already helped this done fall in the past. But the new ones that I'm working with to make the flight. Okay, Christ's opposition to pornography. People, I imagine we all done looked at it one time or another, at least most of us. It's a fantasy. It's associated with masturbation as well. Sometimes when you're getting you getting, getting you ready to get on with it, you know, you may need that to get you in the mood. Pornography kind of destroys, though, because the Bible tells us over here in Matthew 20, uh, Matthew 5, 27, 28. It says, Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh upon a woman and lusteth after her, had already committed adultery with her already in his heart. See, you ain't even done nothing. This is what pornography does just as well. You've already seen in your heart. You can use those provisions and get you going for your self-pleasure as far as masturbation just as well. These are ungodly acts, people. All right? Because you're supposed to pair off a man and a woman for a godly union for the rest of your lives. We've already talked about that on the three allergies of marriage and marriage, divorce, and remarriage in two different segments. Okay, so I'm not going to touch base on this, so you go and look at those segments, man, you can find these things. All right. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. There has no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but <clears throat> with will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it you're going to be allowed to be tempted people listen there's trials and tribulations and there's reaping what you sow it, it, that's the difference you have to you have to know how to discern when you uh, reaping what you sow because what you sent out that's what's coming back that, it's what's coming back it's biblically said you send out good, good come back. You send out evil, evil come back. It's just like forgiving. If you forgive, what measure you forgive, it's, a, it's the same thing that God's going to do. You You forgive him just a teeny little bit. Okay, well, God will forgive you just a teeny little bit. You go, you play your mediocre. He going to play his mediocre. You go ahead and forgive him all the way, and then God go ahead and forgive you all the way. And remember the sin no more. You're going to forgive your brother if you won't forgive him for God. That's just the way it is. God got his thing going on here. All right. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. Woo. He know how to tell us what to do. Amen. How he want it done. He's a man. He's a spirit. Yes. He's everything. The king of kings. The father. Jehovah. All those things. Got a real good spot, don't he? Okay. Let's move on here. First John. 2.16 For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. People, pornography is part of the world. It's one of those things you can say, ooh. And then you see all these orgies, you see all this seed is being popped everywhere, all in people's mouths, all on top of the chest, the breast. Down in the private areas. That's not the way this whole thing is supposed to go. Your body is the temple. 
a lot of us have made that kind of mistake in having multiple partners in orgies. Whether it be straight orgies, bi orgies, or gay orgies. It don't make no difference. You're still supposed to pair off a man and a woman in a holy matrimony. And you don't have to worry about these things. You can look at your wife. Wife, you can look at your husband. When you start looking at other people, you start wanting other people. Right? Mm, I wish I could hit that. Wow, 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 mm. He bigger than my husband. Some women want you to hit a little deeper. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said that out there with all y'all little uh, small, little small things, guys. I mean, sometimes that's just it. The southern route just don't always work. They'll deal with it, but normally the southern route and everything, a woman's not gonna leave because she ain't gonna find nobody that's gonna do it. I got sort of a hang up with that thing. Ooh, Lord. Secretion? Mm, let's move on here. Don't get me started on that. I'll save it for another segment. Ew. All right. Make no provisions to fulfill the lust thereof. Okay? It's biblically said. Now let's move on. Hebrews 13, 4. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. Amen. I like that. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. People, you know, you, 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 you provoke the Lord to such anger when we do these things. I know. I mean, sometimes, boy, when I've fallen on the bandwagon and done that self thing, I feel so guilty. I fall on my knees and I just beg for you. He forgive me, but he's to keep on. You know, you get a little chase and get a little bust for you and get yourself back in gear. Now, what if he decides to throw at you? Then you never will know. It could be the slightest thing that aggravates you, something that really aggravates you. You know, he'll call out the punishment. If you didn't do too bad, he might not punish you too bad, but you might need a little something. You know, it's gonna keep you on going. He's gonna slap you across that tail. Get get it on the boy. Okay, if the father does a son, he does the same thing with us. Because we are his children. Was it saved or unsaved? But only the saved going back to catch that. Now let's move on here. John 14, 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Whoo, that's a good one. People, listen. Love shows respect. It keeps everything in order. A balance of righteousness. Just like a husband and wife, when they make that bond and say, I do, I do, I do, 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 anything for you, they make a bond. Okay? Now, that shows love. They've committed themselves to each other. Now, if you love me, don't cheat on me. If you love me, don't lie on me. Don't lie to me. All those things. Don't slap me around. Let me be the man. Don't throw no frying pan. Okay? Don't hit me. Don't spit on me. Don't dog me out. Don't disrespect me and use me like I'm a little puppy dog. The woman was a help me. She's supposed to walk right beside you. If you love me, keep my commandments. Stay in the statutes of the Lord. All right? And you'll do nicely. Obedience is the key. That's what's going to get you through the gate. If you need any more, get yourself to the church of Christ where the salvation is. That's where you need to start. And you go from milk to the meat, sinner to saint, <coughs> and migrate up to the prime rib, which is heaven's door. The counselors, the Christians, they're always ready at the church, out of the church. You set something up with them, call them on the phone, uh, email them. We got good vehicles of transportation right at the, your fingertips to sit down and counsel and get you through that baptism. That's where you start, and then you keep learning. All right? You keep going up in faith. And this is Minister Dwight Yager, and remember Let's stay away from pornography. It destroys. It's ungodly. Most of us have done it. Most of us stop doing it. Yes, I'm talking about myself too. I've had problems with it in the past. Let's hope I don't fall off the bandwagon. Oh, Jesus. Keep me straight. Mm, 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 mm. All right. And remember.
remember, I love you. Until then, hmm, and again.